Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, this is the final day on the hair and we're gonna get to the darker colors. Well, the dark and the light. Now, the reason why I had you start with the umber and the blue or the indigo was because I wanted to create a mid-ground color. And that's what this does. Many times, I mean, if you go back through my videos, you'll hear me saying every object has three colors, at least three colors. You want a light, a medium, and a dark. This created the medium, even though it looked dark before. Now we're going to go with black, and I'm using my polychromos for whatever reason I can't find my Derwent Chinese uh, I, uh, ivory black. I can't find it. <laughs> so I went to the next polychromos. You can use really any of the blacks that you have. It's not, these are common colors. If you have polychromos, you can, you have these colors. They come in the set. So, I mean, cause every, everyone has dark umber. It has indigo blue, black and white. So now we're gonna to go to our black pencil and we're gonna create the really dark, rich areas of the hair. Now, I already started working over here because I'm doing this in real time and real time is a lot of time. So I'm gonna continue making my strokes in a C formation. Now, it starts out down and works up, down and lift up down and lift up and that is called the tapered stroke I have many videos uh, demonstrating it and we're gonna take the clumps of hair now this would be one clump here would be one here is a different one right here right here underneath here this is actually different than this. So we're going to identify where the, the clumps of hair, where the hair is styled. And then you have it going around, twisting and turning. We're going to work on one at a time. I don't know if I'm going to get to everyone, but I did a lot of work on this one. And I'm just bringing that black into that white area. And I'm making sure that around where the hairline is, it's nice and dark. That's going to give you the illusion of really dark hair. That's the color. Now, we don't want any hard lines or any hard abrupt stops. We want everything to be sort of jaggered. And I went through that in the other video that I did, getting to this point. So now I'm gonna just work on where the lights and darks. Right here is gonna be the highlight. So all up here is gonna be dark. And I've got my highlight right here. I'm going to leave my highlight. You could see the different shades in it. Now, the trick of what I'm doing is to take Posca. Now, you're gonna have to practice with your Posca to get a nice thin line, but the good thing about Sorry about that, my phone keeps trying to update. They keep saying it's updating and then it restarts. I'm gonna to have to get my husband to look at it tomorrow. But this clump is different than this clump. And in normal circumstances, in say blonde hair, I would have a separation with dark. But since we only, we're working with dark, dark on dark doesn't work. We're gonna go, and you could see what I did right here. The thinnest, separation with white. Now it's gonna be the same thing over here. The thinnest you can make it 
right there. Now, if you make your line too thick, Pasca covers over. Wait for it to dry. Pasca covers over very, very easily. Um, so there's, you can have multiple attempts. And you're going to bring the black right up to that line. This will enable you to see the separated areas. And it's just like you see it, but you don't notice it. There's the clump goes right here. It seems to come out and this goes this direction. Always work in the direction that you want your hair to be in. So if I'm going up, I make sure my lines are all going in that direction. Do not blend on hair in a circular motion. Once you've started to go circular, you're going to ruin the depth of your hair. It just, you're going to ruin all that fine work that you're putting into it. So you really, that's why hair takes such a long time. You really got to go one strand at a time one hair and because you did the three colors you'll be able to see that black coming into it and there you have a second one Now, this one is going upward, so I'm going to change my stroke direction, and I'm going to go up. My highlight's going to be here. Follow the direction of the hair. One hair at a time. Now, you'll see other artists, they go in and they block in and everything. That's not my way of doing it. It's not that it's wrong. It's just not my way of doing it. I started out with graphite and with graphite, you don't really block in like that a lot. I actually learned on really newsprint paper. <laughs> I don't even know why my teachers had me do that, but that's what we used to use. The worst paper in the world to, to draw on. But that's what we, we did. I guess it was to save college students money. Go in with my white, going in the direction, and just put a little white in there. That's a pretty big highlight right here. I'm gonna take away some of that. And if you take away too much, you just add a little bit back with the Posca until you make it balanced. But most important thing is to go in the direction of the strokes. Okay. 
Now there seems to be a separation right there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of white right there. And then I'm gonna just let it dry for a second. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna thin and even it out because that's what you do with Pasca. I had already put in a little bit of white over here. Now I'm working on this clump and the highlight is going to sort of go this way. And you see how this and this is sort of blending in together? It's getting harder and harder to see. Well, that's where you want it to end that hard line with a little bit of white. I'm going to fix that. That's a little too stark. Now I'm just staining the white a little bit. And now I'm going to thin it over here from the black side. My husband just went to the store and happy to say, he said, there's a full selection of everything there, which, thank goodness, uh, he had no trouble getting anything, meats, toilet paper, <laughs> um, so there's nothing... So I'm glad about that. At least people have gotten some sense. And you, you can get it. We're, we're just out of milk products and fruit. There's just so many bad carbs we can be eating. And tonight I'm going to make cauliflower rice. Because if I eat another starch as the main meal I'm gonna go completely insane so I'm gonna do something with cauliflower if I don't the cauliflower is gonna go bad um, I was wa listening to the president today he said he extended it two weeks now um, which was kind of inevitable kind of saw that coming um, can't imagine everything going back to normal now, not with the numbers still rising. And he said the peak is due to hit in two more weeks. Which if you look at China and how China went, that sounds about right. It doesn't mean that we'll be back to normal or we're going to eradicate it in two weeks. It's just that we'll start seeing a decline I kind of thought it might come a little bit earlier than two weeks because we're in lockdown number 14 today, 13, 14. I'm losing track of days. <laughs> uh, we're hitting the two. We're, we're getting up there towards the two-week mark that everybody's been locked down here. And uh, once you hit the 14 days, you know, you're, I don't know if safe, but... If you've been good and you've stayed in, um, you don't, you're not shedding it. So you're past that contagious part. More and more people get past the contagious part. We're going to see numbers starting to go down in new cases. Um, I don't know about deaths, but at least new people getting it. So by the end of maybe May, we should be in pretty good shape again, where the economy and everything will start bouncing in, the, in another direction. Um, my prayers are still with New York. We're still under a thousand here in Nevada, 
I've been watching the numbers really closely. And I hope you guys are doing okay. I know two people that said that they thought they had it. And then, I mean, these are regularly, you know, YouTube friends. I have to call one of them to find out. I have their phone number. Um, I'm worried about her because she has MS and definitely high risk, and she was pretty sick. And she put out a message. Her name is Andrea. If she's watching this, which there's a very good chance that she is. Love you, girl. And uh, I'm concerned about her. She's been on my mind ever since she put out that first uh, video on her symptoms. It was not one of the people I wanted to hear getting sick. Definitely a high-risk friend. So, it's daylight now. I could see the blue from last night. <laughs> Which is pretty. I mean, I wasn't planning it, but it's still pretty. But I definitely have the right pencil in my hand now. And I am getting a black color on the page. You could definitely see the difference. This is another, here's another tip. Sometimes the next day, when you walk away from it, the wax settles into the page, and you can actually get another layer on, and the layer will be nicer. And if you think about the wax... Uh, as the wax cools, it settles. The pigments settle. I've always found that the next, if you're working on a picture too much and you've melted down your wax just from the friction, it always looks better if you wait until the next day and put the next layer on. So, I need a white line in here. I'm going to put it on in just a minute. And the Yeah, that's black. <laughs> Sometimes you make happy mistakes. Like, that's how I learned. I made so many mistakes at the beginning. And some of them, very happy mistakes. a layer in here. I have a feeling I went in there with the blue. I have something on the page over here. Every time I, I go there I feel a rough patch. It feels like sandpaper right there. I'm getting to areas where I'm burnishing now, like right under here, I'm burnishing. Okay, my husband should be home from shopping any minute. And I'll pick this up after. Get just this little area in here. And under here. For the most part, I'm done with the hair for now. 
I want to get the skin tone on it done and then I'll be able to judge what needs to be lighter and darker once I get all the color on it. So I'm going to stop here before I actually do too much. Somebody pulled a pencil out of my hand. <laughs> And I will see you guys tomorrow. The best of health to you guys. Stay in, please. We're going to turn the corner, I promise you. It's coming. Another couple more weeks of this, and we'll start with some better news. Happened in China. It'll start happening here, too. Love you guys. Take care.